And then the kid farted in class. All right, so today, uh, morning, afternoon, uh, another wonderful day of teaching. Uh, so today was good. Uh, today was like a recap day after our midterm, and you know, I always love when you do the midterm. And I, the the weird thing about my class is we do these performance tasks, uh, and also like st strategy performance based assessments. So my students have to make something, produce something, create something, or use terminology that we would use in class to define and describe and use things. Uh, it's one of those kinds of midterms, and it's wonderful how when I'm like, hey, I made it easy for you guys. Here's a video of all the things that are gonna be on the test. Let's all watch the video together. Go ahead and take notes on it, because I'm giving you a grade for the notes, and, uh, and then you can, you know, study that for the test and be good to go. How many of them, it, it, it's always cut and dry, where it's like, oh man, I should have done my notes because you failed. Or, I did my notes, so I got a decent grade, and I didn't have to do hardly any work. And yeah, it's that simple, but you know, you gotta take that initiative yourself. All right, so today's topic on how not to suck at teaching. Uh, today's topic is duty post. All right, so what's important about a duty post? Duty posts are, are always important, or are, uh, necessary because you are there to keep visual presence on your students. What, what is the point of you staying in the hallway for 15, 20, 30 minutes at a time? It's to make sure that you are visible in case the students are out and about and they don't get into a fight. They want you to be seen, have that presence. Uh, because there's always something about let's not get into a fight when somebody right there is a witness and can say, these two got in a fight, I told them to stop and they kept on going. Uh, then they're suspended for several days depending on what the uh, the code of conduct is in your specific neighborhood um, so it's one of those things where duty is a, is a necessary evil uh, you have to go to duty, you have to report to duty and all that kind of stuff but the bigger thing is is also be beneficial to you um, I always have like five or six clipboards uh, at the ready so that I can take a stack of whatever I'm doing out into the hallway grading papers looking at essays looking at our history homework um, and I and I have that set up in my in front of my room I have this nice paper sorter stack of thing uh, which I should probably use on my desk to sort my folders because it'd be a whole lot simpler um, but because I don't and I keep it on my on the front of my the front of the room so that I can put my clipboards there and my sketch pads for my different classes. If I have to go stay in the hallway to during class change, I can take a clipboard out there and I'm writing down notes for the vlog, writing down notes for um, videos that I'm working on, writing down notes for classes that I'm working on. I never have enough planning ever. And and even though you have a plan, dedicated planning time and you plan and you do all this other stuff, to me that's never enough. Um, I have to be in a constant state of work uh, to just stay ahead of what I'm supposed to do. I don't, I don't think, I like, like the students, I, I do come up with projects on the fly, I come up with them on, all the time, but I want to keep to having those uh, thoughts at the ready to where I can use those duty posts to help facilitate my instruction. Um, so, but, so, make sure you go to your duty post and take care of business, but don't let the business escape you. All right, so that was a quick tip of the of the day. I'm going to go home, edit some videos, edit some vlogs, and um, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Later, guys.